hello my brothers and sisters peace be with you welcome back to this channel and if you are new you are welcome to this channel i am linda peace a servant of the lord i want to share with you uh, what i see in the spirit for this year uh, if you missed out on our communion and one of our videos you find their way or uh, the title says breaking 2021 for 2022 uh, if you missed out on that uh, video, go and listen to that because there is where we shared our communion. Um, and we also, I also went forward and gave an instruction that you should often do this each and every Sabbath, every Saturday. You should, you should make sure that before you get in this, uh, to do this communion, be in the fasting, okay? So that you can be uh, consecrated and be qualified to participate in the body of Christ and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, now, on that very video, on that very uh, time, we also had a word that uh, I received from the Lord. I shared a word, um, and then also, but I did not um, prophesy that much. I had a teaching there, we had a teaching and a word from the Lord. Um, and now I would want to share with you and also build your faith at the same time because I feel in the spirit most of you are getting again a week um, weaker in the spirit and you are quite afraid of what you have heard left and right you hear people are saying to you what will be of uh, this very year now you know you know very well that 2021 20, was not a an easy year it was not that easy uh but by the grace of god we were able to uh to cross over to the next year okay now we thank the lord for that Do you thank the lord for that that because many people were not able to make it many people passed or many people died they were not able to cross over to 2022 okay it was a very difficult year. It was not easy at all. Many people slept outside in the streets. Many people lost their businesses. Many people lost their families, you know. But you were able to uh, live and still cross to a new year again, 2022. Uh, so in the same faith that you walked through, in the same encouragement, you know, in that same same line you walk through the line of our lord jesus christ is in the same thing you should use um in this very year also as well one thing i want to say to you um is that it is not going to be that the same as uh the past year um but it's going to be quite a little bit different you know you're not going to be able to see some things that you saw in the last year in this year but however there are some things that you will be able to see in this very year you'll be like no they're not changed okay you also have to know that uh we are getting at that very hour we are getting at that very hour the hour that had been spoken of since from from old the hour that every christian is looking at the hour that every christian is waiting for every creation is waiting for this very hour and we are so much close to this hour and these things truly have to take place if they don't take place then we shall not see the master this hour shall not come okay now this very year i see in the spirit um that uh, uh the most the important people important people the big people big people now I'm, I'm not speaking to specific countries um but and i would not want to mention countries but what i see in the spirit is that big people very important people will not be able to cross over to the next year will not be able to finish this year very important people to the economies we are going to lose these people okay 
and also what I see in the spirit. Some people are not going to be able to continue with their businesses. Some people are not going to be able to continue with their businesses. What also I see, there is going to be a shifting in leadership. What I also see, there is going to be a shifting in the spirit. There is going to be a change. There is going to be a change in the spirit. There is going to be a change in the spirit. There is going to be a change in the spirit. I also see many girls, many women, giving in their souls, their bodies to men. There is going to be increased immorality. Immorality where you will look with your eyes and see truly the wickedness has multiplied. Young girls are going to sell their bodies. Increase prostitution. What I also see in the spirit, in some parts of the world, some parts of the world, there is going to be lack of enough food in some parts of the world. And I also see in some parts of the world, there is going to, to be lack of, of enough water. Lack of enough water. I saw in the spirit only the children of the rich people were, were celebrating, were able to eat and satisfy their stomachs. And I saw the leftovers were the ones that were given to the poor. Those that could not stand up for their own lives. Many people are going to lose businesses. They're not going to be able to go forward, to continue with their businesses. They're not going to be able to continue with their businesses. Some people, some people will take their own lives. Some people will take their own lives because of how challenging the life will look in their eyes. Some people lose their faith. It is going to be way too even complicated for the ones that call themselves false prophets. It's going to be very complicated. Some of which are going to be exposed. They're going to be exposed. I see tables standing around, tables standing around in governments. What has been hidden is going to be revealed. The hand of the Lord is on the leaders. The hand of the Lord is on the leaders. You will see fires. You will see fires. Fires in some areas, some parts of the world, some areas. The Lord will cause the very citizens to wage war. 
against their own leaders. Against their own leaders. But you, my brothers and sisters, you also know that the persecution has always been there. It has always been there for us. And you also know that if you do not face, if you do not face tribulation or persecution or any challenge in life then you must check yourself if you truly are on the right path because surely the world has hated the name Jesus Christ and if we are walking out there in the streets his name is on our foreheads The world is always against us, against those that walk with the name Jesus Christ on their foreheads, those that are marked by the name Jesus. That is why you have often been tribulated, often been persecuted. I saw in the spirit some parts of the world some of our brothers and sisters will be buried alive. For the gospel, they will be preaching in the streets. For the Lord will pour out his spirit and he will steer spirits of his children that they may go and warn the nations and warn the nations and because of this, they will be buried alive. But see, the angel of the Lord will be sent where they will be buried. And they will come out alive. They will not die. They will not die. And I want you to see these things will happen on a day that will be on the 10th, 11th, and 15th of any month. On the 10th, 11th, and 15th of any month. Whenever it is appointed that that event may take place wherever God has planned. Now I want you to hold on tight to your faith. Hold on tight to your faith. Hold on tight to your faith and trust in the Lord and see the time is too short. It is so imminent and the Son of Man is sitting at the throne waiting for the word go from our Father, the Ancient of the Days. The Son of Man is waiting at the throne for one word, go. Now you all know that there is nobody on this world that can speak mysteries concerning heavenly things. without the Spirit of the Lord. 
without God revealing these things to them. From God has come all of these things on the world and they still go back in Him. For only He knows the purpose of His creation. And nobody can tell the future except God. Be humble. Be very humble. Be very humble. And follow the instructions that will be given to you from above. Be very humble. Also, I've heard about uh, some fellow sisters that are out there and speaking of the, the calling that is on their lives. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you whom the Lord has given to me, Do not listen to people that prohibit you from getting married, that prohibit you from eating a certain kind of food, that tell you you have to dress a certain material of clothes. Do not listen to these kinds. Of teachings this is not the teaching that was given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ our master the true teaching that he passed on to his apostles is of this the kingdom of God has come repent the true teaching that our master our Lord Jesus Christ passed on to the apostles and the apostles passed it on to us he says salvation is by faith salvation is by faith and faith without deeds is empty salvation without deeds is empty for the kingdom of God is not about eating certain kinds of food but it is about righteousness the kingdom of god is not about dressing a certain kind of material of clothes but it's about righteousness i want you to know this and always remember that always remember that and I want you to also pray that the Lord may open doors for me that I may reach out to other brothers and sisters as well. For they have often been, been lied of which holiness they have to follow. They have been threatened that God wants you to dress in this kind dress this kind of material god wants you to eat this kind of food i don't want to get there i have often been in some churches and been denied i've also i've also also for an opportunity to minister to some brothers and sisters on some platforms and being denied but I want to thank God for you the ones he has given to me and I know for sure that when the Lord shall return our master shall return I have you all presented before him now I want you to pray that I am bold enough to serve you 
peace be with you and I'll see you again. Bye.